Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria Montefusco and I'm a lover of all things when it comes to makeup, fragrance, and beauty. And today I have an exciting fragrance first impressions video for you all. So there is a brand out there called Commodity. They are pretty hyped here on YouTube um, and they have a pretty unique like um, idea with their fragrances. And I've been dying to try two of their fragrances in particular, Commodity Milk and Commodity Gold. And they offer these fragrances in three scent spaces. So like uh, uh, from basically like weakest or like least projecting to like strongest, like a bold kind of scent. So I decided to get the discovery sets for both Commodity Milk and Commodity Gold. And so I have them here today and they come in all three levels. So personal, expressive, and bold. And I'm just gonna try them out, give you all first impressions. Um, yeah, we're just gonna see what I think here. And I'm really excited to try these out. These have been on my list for a while. And also something that I thought was really nice is when you order, they do give you a 15% off like coupon. So that was really nice too. But anyways, I'm gonna be testing these out today. I'm gonna see if I think they're worth the hype, if I like them, if they're things that I wanna try on my skin. And yeah, I'm just really excited to try these out. So if you want to hear my thoughts on all three versions of Commodity Milk and Commodity Gold, then please keep on watching. All right, so first I'm going to start with the gold sampler set. So it comes like this. It has a booklet that explains each of the fragrances, and then it has each of the three fragrances like kind of color coded um, by what level they are. So there's gold minus, gold, gold plus. So. There we go. So I'm just gonna go in order, start with the fragrance that's the least strong, and then go up to the bold. So first, starting with gold personal, it's the explanation on this card says, the skin scent is a molecular whisper of the original and effortless vanilla shares a spotlight with, I with ISO E Super. So basically it's all the same notes in the gold expressive, which is like vanilla, musk, amber, um, with that ISO E Super. So let's give this one a try. Um, all of these fragrances sound like something I would like, so I'm excited to try them out. Yeah, it's definitely a creamy vanilla. It's not strong at all, which I expect, you know, from the personal version. Yeah, I feel like a whisper of vanilla and creaminess and musk is like the perfect way to describe this. This is very pleasant. This is very inoffensive. If you're the kind of person who gets headaches really easily from fragrances, which I can be one of those types of people, um, certain notes like florals really get to me, but maybe if you really like the idea of like a sweet vanilla kind of fragrance, but some of those like thicker versions can give you a headache, this might be really good for you. Yeah, I think this is really pleasant. This is something I'm definitely interested in trying on my skin. And I definitely think because it's so light and it's not very heavy, this could be a good vanilla for the spring and the summer. So definitely great for this time of the year. Yeah, I think this is pleasant. Am I like in love with it at first sniff? No, but this could be something that I could see myself enjoying, especially as like an easy reach. So the gold personal, I do think is a really easy wear, easy reach, a great vanilla for the spring and the summer. But of course, all the fragrances I try on my skin, I say this in every video, you will be hearing all about in my monthly review roundup. So yeah, this is, basically this is a first impressions. If you wanna hear honest, unfiltered reviews, my monthly review roundups, those are the place to go for, the, for that. So next, let's try the expressive gold. So the OG gold. So this explanation says, strong, sleek, and sophisticated, just like the precious commodity itself. Effervescent vanilla wrapped in creamy musk and molten amber. Rich enough to bathe in this decadent fragrance is an intoxicating journey to one's innermost desires, thoughts, and impulses. Um, yeah, that explanation is a really long way of saying musk, vanilla, amber. <laughs> so let's give this one a try. I'm excited about it. Yeah, what I'm getting here is a stronger version of the personal. It's a bit thicker. It's a bit sweeter. It's just a bit more in your face. It's not very in your face, but it's just a bit stronger when you smell it. Because of how, because it's stronger and because you're not getting that ISO E Super, which those kinds of notes to me give it like almost like a refreshing kind of vibe. Um, 
I would say this could be worn all year round, but I'd probably be more keen in wearing this in a bit cooler weather. Like I don't think I'd wear this in like the heat of the summer. Again, it's pleasant. I think it's nice. Am I in love with this? No, but am I willing to try this on my skin and see maybe how it interacts with my skin chemistry and maybe I'll just fall in love with it when I wear it? Yeah, I am willing to do that. There are plenty of fragrances that have done that before for me. Like I can give you a recent example, Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere by Philosophy. I smelled it in the store, sprayed it on me and I was like, ooh, no. And then the, the more it will like dry down on my skin and the more the mid and base notes came out, the more I loved it. So this could be one of those types of fragrances for me. Yeah, I think it's pleasant. I'm willing to give it a try. I'm not mad at this at all. So gold, I also like, but I think right now I am a bit more of a fan of the gold personal version. All right, and the last gold we have is gold bold, <laughs> that rhymes. And so this, exp this, this explanation says, for those who dare to be bold and admire, this unapologetically rich fragrance is overflowing with vanilla spices and smoke. So basically it has all of the notes of the expressive. So vanilla, musk, amber, plus it has nutmeg, saffron, patchouli. So that's where that darkness, that spiciness, that smokiness is coming from. I do like a good nutmeg note. I like saffron sometimes. Patchouli can be very hit or miss for me. If it's too much patchouli, if it's a patchouli bomb, I'm not into that. But if the patchouli is in the background and just provides a little bit of depth to the fragrance, I can enjoy that. So let's give this one a try. Yeah, I don't like this one. <laughs> I do not like this one. Wow, that patchouli is very, very prominent. And for that reason, I really don't like it. No, this goes in a completely different direction than the other two. And I do not like it. That was very easy. If you really love patchouli, you may like this. If you do not like patchouli, stay away. Stay very far away from gold bold. And next we have commodity milk. So again, it's the same kind of packaging where you have the information booklet, your three versions of the scent, and we're just gonna get straight into this. So let's first talk about the milk personal version. So the one that sits the closest to you, the closest to the skin. So this says a luscious bouquet of amber, musk, and light woods wear like a sweet and sugary hug. So it has all the notes of milk expressive, which is marshmallow, mahogany, tonka bean, milk, and then it also has cashmere woods and, sil and skin musk. So that sounds very pleasant, sounds very lactonic, very relaxing. I think this sounds like something I'll like, so let's give it a try. Yeah, I like this a lot. It's very pillowy and like fluffy smelling. Yeah, there's something very light and airy. And again, it's an easy reach. I feel like these personal versions are probably just like super easy reaches, great for every day, very inoffensive, can wear them to work, those kinds of fragrances. Yeah, it's very marshmallowy. It's something milky and cold about it. You can definitely smell the tonka. It's definitely sugary. Yeah, there's a bit of amber in there. I'm not really smelling a lot of woods, but I am getting musk. So it's a, again, it's an easy reach kind of sweet fragrance. It's not so strong and cloying that I would say you could not wear this in the spring and the summertime. Again, if it's like super, super hot, I don't think I'd wear a fragrance like this, but if it's like springtime, fall time, winter time, I think this is a good reach. Yeah. I'm gonna try this one on my skin as well. So far, I really do like it. I think it's a really pleasant, easy reach, not too strong, not too cloying, not headache inducing kind of fragrance. So next up, the original milk. So the expressive version, again, um, marshmallow, mahogany wood, tonka bean, and cold milk accord. So that's what we're looking at here. Um, it's supposed to be a rich and warm fragrance, so it doesn't have those cashmere and musk notes of the last one, so I'm, in, I'm expecting this one to just be a bit sweeter and a bit stronger. So let's give it a try. I like this one too. I almost wish that this had a note of vanilla instead of tonka. I'm definitely more of a vanilla fan than a tonka bean fan. But again, it's very fluffy, it's a bit sweeter, it's a bit stronger, you're not getting that muskiness in there. It's just like a fluffy, sweet kind of fragrance. I like it, I don't love it. Yeah, I definitely like the personal version better. And as the personal version is drying down, the woods are definitely coming out. It's getting more woody and musky. This one, I could see becoming a little bit headache inducing for me. I think it's because of that tonka. 
If Tonka's too strong, it can make my head hurt. Yeah, I don't think I'm. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna try milk on my skin. Milk personal, I like. Milk expressive's a bit too cloying for me. And I love a good gourmand. I love a good sweet fragrance. But it's the right sweet notes that make me love a fragrance. And this just isn't it for me. And last up, we have Milk Bold. So it has all the notes of Milk Expressive. So the marshmallow, the mahogany wood, the tonka bean, the cold milk accord. And then it also has amber and firewood accord. So this sounds like a woodier, stronger, maybe more like fall winter appropriate version of milk. So let's give this one a try. Oh yeah, the juice is definitely darker too. You can tell that there's some amber in there because this juice is a little bit golden in color. I think I like this one actually. <laughs> I think I like this one more than the milk um, expressive. I have to keep looking at the card to be like, what's it called again? Yeah, there's Tonka in here, of course, but the Tonka isn't so strong that I'm like, oh my God, it's gonna give me a headache. I feel like that amber balances it out. And I like the woodiness. It's a, just a hint of smokiness. It's not too much. Yeah, to me, this is definitely more of like a fall winter kind of fragrance because of the amber with the Tonka. I don't really wear a lot of amber in the spring and the summer, but yeah, I do think it's pleasant. It's not too, too bold. It's just like a darker, deeper, richer version of like each of the milk fragrances, but the Tonka note isn't too, too much. So I'll definitely be trying Milk Bold on my skin as well. So that is it for today's video. I know it's a pretty quick one. Um, out of the six fragrances, I think I'm gonna be trying four on my skin. And those are Gold Personal and Gold Expressive, as well as Milk Personal and Milk Bold. So I would say four out of six that I like is pretty darn good. Um, and we'll see what I think when I wear them on my skin, review them, all that fun stuff. And if you wanna hear my honest, unfiltered thoughts, like I said, my monthly review roundups, those are the place to find them. This was just a first impressions. So if you like this video, please like this video. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm and it also helps me know what kinds of content that you'd like to see on my channel. If you like me, please subscribe. I'd love to have you all here. I normally post videos two to three times per week. And if you have anything to comment down below, any fragrance recommendations, any questions on any of these fragrances, whatever you wanna talk about, if you just wanna chat, let me know. I love having conversations with you all. That's my favorite part about posting here on YouTube. And with that, thank you for spending part of your day with me and I will see you all next time.